Have you ever pondered the existence of gorillas in Africa? Perhaps you've wondered where these majestic creatures make their home or how their populations are faring. Well, today, we're setting off on an interesting journey to uncover these mysteries with a special focus on the beautiful country of Rwanda. A nation known for its lush landscapes, Rwanda is also renowned as a safe haven for gorilla trekking. We'll traverse the terrains where gorillas call home, shedding light on their population and even delving into their intriguing gender distribution. From the dense rainforest of the Congo to the stunning vistas of Rwanda's Volcanoes National Park, we're about to embark on an adventure that will take us into the heart of gorilla territory. So if you're ready to learn, to explore, and to uncover the enigma of the gorilla's existence in Africa, then buckle up. Join us as we embark on this interesting journey to explore the lives of gorillas in Africa. Our adventure begins in the remote regions of the Congo. Here the dense tropical rainforest stretches as far as the eye can see, teeming with life and humming with the whispers of the wild. This is the heart of Africa, a place where nature thrives in its most raw and untamed form. It is here that our journey to uncover the secret world of gorillas begins. The Congo rainforest serves as a sanctuary for these enigmatic creatures. This vast expanse of green is not just a home for gorillas but a cradle of life that nurtures countless species. The forest's integrity is woven together by the intricate balance of its biodiversity. From the smallest insects that crawl on the forest floor to the gorillas that roam in its depth, every creature plays a vital role in maintaining this balance. In these forests, gorillas find all they need to survive and thrive. The abundant foliage offers them a rich menu of leaves, fruits, and shoots, providing the nourishment they need. The towering trees provide shelter from the elements and predators, while the dense undergrowth offers a playground for the young and a resting place for the old. But the gorillas are not alone in this forest. They share their home with a host of other creatures that contribute to the forest's biodiversity. Elephants, leopards, and countless species of birds, insects, and plants all coexist in this complex ecosystem, each playing their part in sustaining the forest's health. In this remote corner of the world, a team of local experts dedicates their lives to studying and protecting these magnificent creatures. These individuals, armed with a deep understanding of the forest and its inhabitants, guide us through the gorilla's world, helping us understand their behaviors, their needs, and the challenges they face. Their insights shed light on the crucial role gorillas play in maintaining the health of the forest. They help us understand that by protecting gorillas, we are not only safeguarding a single species, but preserving an ecosystem that supports a vast array of life. The Congo serves as a vital sanctuary for these gentle giants housing a treasure trove of biodiversity. Here, every creature, including the gorillas, plays a part in the symphony of life that resonates through the forest, reminding us of the intricate web of life that connects us all. Gorillas play a crucial role as gardeners of the forest. Their natural behaviors contribute significantly to the maintenance of a balanced ecosystem. As these majestic creatures venture through the dense undergrowth of the rainforest, they consume a variety of plant species, including leaves, fruits, and shoots. This dietary behavior helps to control the vegetation, promoting biodiversity and contributing to the survival of countless other species. Gorillas also play a part in seed dispersal. As they move from one location to another, the seeds from the fruits they've consumed pass through their digestive system and are then deposited in different parts of the forest. This natural process aids in the proliferation of various plant species, further enriching the forest ecosystem. But gorillas are not just ecological engineers, they're also intriguing social creatures. Gorilla societies are organized into groups known as troops, typically led by a dominant male, the silverback. The silverback makes all the decisions, including where the troop travels, eats, and sleeps. The bond between the silverback and his troop is strong, and he will fiercely protect his family from any threat. Within these troops, relationships and communication are key. Gorillas communicate in subtle ways, primarily through vocalizations and body language. From soft grunts and hoots to loud roars and chest beats, each sound or action conveys a specific message. These interactions provide us with valuable insights into their social structure and emotional states. Yet despite their strength and intelligence, gorillas face numerous threats 
From habitat loss due to deforestation and human encroachment to disease and poaching, these gentle giants are in dire need of protection. Conservation efforts are vital to ensure these magnificent creatures continue to thrive and play their essential role in the ecosystem. In conclusion, the existence of gorillas is crucial for the ecosystem. Their feeding habits contribute to biodiversity, their social behaviors offer a glimpse into their complex societies, and their subtle communication methods provide valuable insights into their social structure. It's clear that these enigmatic giants are more than just inhabitants of the forest, they are its guardians, and their survival is intricately tied to the health of our planet. Let's now explore Rwanda, a safe choice for gorilla trekking. Rwanda, often referred to as the land of a thousand hills, is not just known for its stunning landscapes but also for its successful conservation efforts. This small but mighty nation has been a beacon of hope for the gorillas, providing a safe haven amidst the threats they face. Rwanda's commitment to conservation is not accidental, but rather a deliberate, well-thought-out strategy. The Rwandan government has recognized the importance of these magnificent creatures to their ecosystem and their potential for promoting tourism. The country's primary destination for gorilla trekking is the Volcanoes National Park. This park, located just three hours from Kigali International Airport, offers some of Africa's most accessible gorilla trekking experiences. The Rwandan government has implemented stringent measures to ensure the safety of both the visitors and the gorillas. These include limiting the number of visitors per day and enforcing a minimum distance to be maintained from the gorillas. Furthermore, the revenue generated from tourism is reinvested into conservation efforts. A significant portion of the park fees goes directly towards protecting the gorillas and their habitat. This has resulted in a win-win situation where the gorillas are protected and the local communities benefit from the influx of tourists. Rwanda's conservation efforts extend beyond just protecting the gorillas. They also focus on educating local communities about the importance of gorillas and the role they play in maintaining the health of the ecosystem. Through various community programs, the locals are encouraged to actively participate in conservation efforts. The fruits of Rwanda's conservation efforts are evident. The gorilla population, once on the brink of extinction, is now slowly but steadily increasing. This is a testament to what can be achieved when a nation prioritizes conservation. Thanks to robust conservation efforts, humans and gorillas coexist harmoniously in Rwanda. These efforts are not just ensuring the survival of the gorillas, but also preserving the beauty and biodiversity of our planet.